Hello, YouTube. It's your boy, Ben. <laughs> what a loser. Um, I'm trying to make this YouTube channel more legitimate, and so I realized that one of the factors involved in legitimacy is content. Uh, and so I'm trying to share more of the work that I've created for a bunch of years. So this is a poem that I wrote uh, when I was 22. I'm 27, so that was five years ago. Um, I had just flown myself to Bali, Indonesia, and had a really wonderful experience, met a bunch of cool people. Um, and I journaled the whole time, and I wrote a bunch of letters, uh, but I didn't write a single poem or a, sim a single rap the whole time. And then I was flying back from Indonesia to the States, um, and then this, this poem is what kind of came out of that experience. Um, the beginning... I was on a plane going back. It was super late at night. All the lights were off except for me, uh, just like writing, writing, writing. Uh, so literally on a plane. It's where the first line from this comes from. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> so it goes. I see these sleepy people dreaming about flying in man-made cathedrals, being one with God, but in imagination's peephole. But see, we both know that dreams are just the schemes of the self-subconscious, but who's Pontius piloting these rocketing, lucid, loony freak shows visually orated by Truth's Rock on Tour? A.K.A. Mr. Creativity. Fuck the fear. Fuck the ego. You don't need it. See, the devil's greatest trick was giving man negativity but under a false pretense, having it called liberty. It's not, it's not freedom to think you're not enough or to be okay with being treated unjust. So I say, listen up, misses and misters. From the kings to the kissers, the boys to the whiskers, the talks to the listeners, the walks to the pissers, Steve Jobs to the pinters, my brothers and sisters, stop. Stop with the nonsense that kills off your confidence. Stop trying to be the man you think you ought to be. And start breathing in the breath of the human being you gotta be. Ah, let me see, let me see. Is he teaching or preaching? Who is Benjamin to tell the rest of them the way it ought to be? Is he living this Zen shit? Or is he still ripping the bong hits? Has he conquered? these demons of ego and fear, or does he still stand judgmental looking back in the mirror? I'm 22, still judgmental, afraid of death and my own feelings. I'm ambitious as fuck, but afraid of succeeding, still needing the approval of others. I'm weaning that back, demanding these druthers. If I got something that needs saying, I say it or I spit it. I learn that it hurts when these words remain lipless. We got beef, won't lash out, but I'll fix it. See, I used to hide a monster under smiles and indifference, but I learned that those smiles built miles and miles of river denial and indifference sent shipments of rage like a Christmas parade to the mongrel of hate not let out of its cage. So damn it, I busted out. I turn those feelings to lyrics and those setbacks to lessons. If you don't like what I'm sneezing, then don't breathe. Cover mouth. I won't be offended, but I won't cover mine. Because this life's all we got. Just a countdown of time. So why lock your shit up? Keeping it deaf, dumb, and blind. See, we're all just characters in a very large story, but you're the only one who shapes your protagonist's journey. So I urge you, not tell you, to learn from these burns. These setbacks of flames range from small to absurd. So obscure these images of who, who we're meant to be. I guarantee it clears up if you let the truth in you be free. Now a word of advice, sort of like a disclaimer, because a misinterpretation could certainly lead to danger. You're going to be inspired. But sure enough, you're going to trip. That's completely natural. What matters is how you deal with it. See, this is when 
what you got. Simply put, perseveres. There is no fear where there is truth. So fuck the end. It's nowhere near you. Thank you.